everybody, my name is Lance. The Pneumatic Machine is a great project. It's super fun and easy, and it illustrates how you can use air pressure to make something move. So I'm going to show you how to build this basic mechanism, but then really it's up to you to customize it to do whatever you want. So let's just jump right in. The first step is to make two triangles out of craft sticks, and the best way to do that is to put a piece of tape on the end of one stick, so some of the tape is still hanging off the end, attach another stick just like this, then fold that tape over. Repeat one more time with a third craft stick, then using the same taping technique, bring the three craft sticks together into a triangle shape, fold that tape over, and then fold the edges around. Repeat one more time. Next, we're going to connect these together with three more craft sticks. Use a similar taping technique of putting the tape on the end of the stick so some of the sticky part is hanging off, line the stick up near the corner of the triangle, and wrap the tape around the triangle until the tape sticks to itself. Repeat on the other side, then attach another stick near the other corner, and one more near the remaining corner. Now we need to create a spot where the pneumatic system is going to attach by taping on a stick to the front of this structure. Extend this stick by overlapping another one and then taping it on in at least two places. The next part is to build a hinged piece that can move up and down. For this part, just use the same taping technique as before. Put the tape on so about half of it is hanging off the end. Line up your second craft stick and then fold the edges over. Okay, to make the pneumatic system, you'll need two plastic syringes, a piece of vinyl tubing, and one of these snap-on syringe toppers. If you don't want to buy these, you can tie the pneumatic system to the rest of the machine using a pipe cleaner, but that's a little bit trickier. Anyway, to make the pneumatic system, first fill up one of the syringes with air, and then attach it to a small piece of tubing. Make sure the other syringe is empty of air and attach that to the other end of the tubing. Then attach the topper onto one of the syringes. Okay, we're ready to attach the pneumatic system. First, make sure the syringe that's being attached has no air in it. Position the syringe with the topper under the hinge. Make sure the hinge can point downward. If you attach the syringe like this so that the hinge is pointing upward, even when the syringe is empty of air, then it's not going to work. Once it's in position, tape the syringe on in at least two places. Next, tie the topper to the syringe piece using these four inch cable ties. Pull it so that it's pretty tight and cut off the excess. Try it out and make sure that it can fully extend and retract. So this is the basic example, but of course one of the best parts about this project is customizing what it does. Whether it's building something like this that's maybe a crane or a tow truck, or maybe building something a little bit more fantastical like a cat lift. So real quick, I just want to explain how this works exactly. Here I just have the pneumatic system by itself, and when I push on the syringe that has the air in it, it creates higher air pressure inside here. That high air pressure zone is connected to this other syringe which has relatively low air pressure. When you have high air pressure next to relatively low air pressure, then the gas is going to move until that air pressure is equalized, or the air pressure is the same in both areas. So by pressing on this one, that high air pressure is being created, and to equalize that pressure immediately, the air is forced out of this syringe and into this one, which extends that plunger. And this works in reverse too. By pulling on this syringe, we're creating a low air pressure zone here. Now the other syringe has relatively high air pressure compared to this one. So when we pull on this, that pressure needs to equalize by retracting that syringe. And in this project, we're just using this principle to make a little lever move up and down. It's pretty simple, but it's very cool and it's a lot of fun to play with. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you make your own pneumatic machine and customize it to do something awesome. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.